that's a standout track from the latest CD, Freak Juice and Friends. They call us Juice is the new one from Tori Ruffin and company. The track is called Hole in the Wall. And let me tell you about Tori Ruffin. He is our special guest. He's been on the show several, several times. He's a great friend of mine. And he is also, listen to this. He's the uh, leader of his own band, Freak Juice, for many, many years. He's the lead guitarist with Morris Day in the Time. He's also uh, in the band Sexual Chocolate from Coming to America. And he is the co-owner, lead guy at the premier Tulsa, Oklahoma live music venue, the Freak Juice Lounge. And uh, he, I don't know how he finds time, but uh, we have him tonight, Mr. Tori Ruffin. How you doing, brother? Hey, what's happening, y'all? How you doing, Joe? Yeah, nice what, what time What time are the doors open? You guys open tonight? Uh, yeah, we open tonight. We're open uh, every day at 7 a.m., uh, 7 p.m., um, yeah. and soon to have some day stuff going on. But, yeah, we're open at 7 p.m. every day, and we, we try to get as much live music and, and uh, stuff, uh, uh, events that we can, you know. So Jelly Beans, that been down there. So, yeah, you know, it's been a – it's been a – even through the pandemic, it's been a it's been a blessing, you know. It's been challenging, but it's been a blessing. Yeah, I mean, it's we'll talk a little bit more about it and get the particulars to the club where people can go to to hang out over at the Freak Juice Lounge. But hole in the wall. Let me ask: Are you playing slide guitar on that record? Man, no, I am not. Man, uh, oh, okay. I, I got a lot of guests on that. That's why that's why I called it Freak Juice and Friends. I got a lot of uh, killer players on that. That's a that's a killer uh, slide player here in town uh, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, Jesse Acott. I'm the the uh, <clears throat> the records on Horton Records, and these are all uh, Horton. Uh, uh, primarily has uh, Red Dirt country artists, and uh, <clears throat> how this came about. I would go and sit in and play with these guys on a Sunday night thing, and one thing led to another, and we ended up deal, doing a, a deal with Horton and. Horton's a nonprofit records, blah, 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 but blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I, They're a great outfit, but uh, all the, all the, all the people on there is like country and uh, blues. And so there's some killer, killer slide and uh, country and blues guitar players on that label. Paul Benjamin, uh, Jesse Acock and, and uh, uh, Seth Lee Jones, man, just killer guys. And they're all on the record. So Yeah. So I, 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 I called up my buddies to let them do what they do best and to get down on it. Yeah. So, so where did you record the record? Uh, right here at Juice Maker uh, Studios, Juice, oh, okay. uh, Juice Cave. Uh, uh, <laughs> some of it was some of it was done at Black Box Studio, and then uh, I got a I got a uh, a nice studio, nice home studio here at the uh, at my house in Tulsa, and uh, mm -hmm. man, we I did. The, the lion chair here. We did do some at Black Box Studios in Tulsa, which is an awesome facility. We did uh, a lot of the basic stuff there, maybe seven, six tracks, seven or eight tracks. Right? Uh, and uh, but uh, I did uh, everything else here. So and we did cookies and cream here too. That's with Jelly Bean on drums. So we oh, cut wow. drums here. We cut a lot of drum stuff here too as well. So yeah, man, it was fun. Yeah, it's been it's been it's been good times. Yeah, technology has caught up. yeah, technology is caught up. So, you know, you really, you got a good engineer, you got, a, you know, good people behind you. You can really do a lot at, at the house. You Do you get involved heavily with the, the mixing and engineering your stuff? Oh, yeah, I produced it and mixed a lot of it. Uh, I had a guy that, uh, that we started the record with and he got called up to do some Netflix stuff. So I was kind of left to my own devices. I we we had a lot of it done. So I but I had to I had to bring it on home. So mm -hmm. uh, you know that was challenging, but uh, we got it done. You know I I've done production and a lot of stuff in L.A. and and, and engineered on some stuff. So I just had to you know and with your own stuff, you know it it, it it's a lot easier because you know what you're going for. Right. Right. So my special guest right here on the Joe Kelly radio show and is Tori Ruffin, tremendous guitarist, musician, producer, nightclub owner, and um, Freak Juice. This is the fourth record, right? It is the fourth record. It is. The right. Fourth. Yep. Um, technically the third record, but Civil Right, right was the first one, uh, but that was called, uh, uh, you know, that was Civil Right Corporate Dick, but it's 
based just the name change is basically it well it is me right and, and my projects yeah so it is four records under the belt though um, uh, i need to get on there i need to step up my game <laughs> no that's all right hey well if you weren't owning a club and touring around the country with with a world-class band then yeah, yeah, you might be able to record a, a record every other year or so, but yeah, hey, right. I understand. Right now, that's one every ten years, right? <laughs> but it's all good. I, I'm glad. I was yeah, but a lot of independent artists. That's that's the way it happens. I mean, I got friends. They, um, I was like, wow, when's the last time you put out a record? It was like 15, 20 years ago. But right. as long as they're playing live, you're still getting money coming in and doing what you want to do. Oh, absolutely. It's been a blessing, man. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna. Um, you know, we I got help now, so we're definitely going to be putting out some some stuff at least every couple, two, three years for sure. But yeah, man, I'm so happy about this record. It's going to be released on November 13th. Yeah, well, let's um, let's play a track right now, and then we'll uh, we'll talk about the big upcoming uh, record release concert streaming, which we're going to be watching as well. And we'll talk more about that. How about the step? This Sounds song, uh, who you co-wrote it with, uh, Mr. Smith, right? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Simpson. Uh, uh, oh, and, and Ricky. Yeah, Ricky Smith. Okay. Yeah, That's Freeze. Freeze. Yeah, yeah, Freeze. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. everybody's, you yeah, got Freeze. a nightclub, he's got a, he's got a clothing line and everything. Oh, yeah, Freeze. Yeah, we're all diversified, you know. And right, all, right. Man, you know, you gotta, you gotta diversify. Uh, we're all doing some entrepreneur stuff, so it's, it's exciting. Now, when do you guys get a chance to work together on your own projects, you and Freeze? How, how does that usually happen? Right. Um, Freeze and I, we used to have a production uh, uh, duo. Uh, well, I don't know if it would be comp- company, but we worked a, a lot together, doing a lot of tracks with more, doing some tracks with more, and then we were trying to gather stuff on other artists. So Freeze and I, we did about, uh, you know, 30, 40 tracks together. Uh and uh, so this, so this was one of the tracks uh, that uh, I really liked, and uh, so I decided to write to it, man. Yeah, the step. So, but yeah, Freeze and I, man, we we do stuff all the time here and there. Not not as much lately. He's got some cool stuff coming out with Dynasty. So yeah, he's yeah, working that out, and um, that those that sounds awesome. But uh, yeah, we're always collaborating doing stuff you know I, i've had him on the last uh two free juice records you know he did uh um uh, those those funk tracks that were on uh, the the like you record right yeah so so let's give it a listen to it right now a little slower on the pace right here breaking it down tory ruffin and ricky freeze smith the song is called the step and it's from freak juice and friends they call us juice right here on the joe kelly radio show tory ruffin will be back in just a few moments. That's another great one from the new CD, which the CD release party is just in a few days. Freak Juice and Friends, they call us Juice. Tori Ruffin is right here, and uh, that song's called The Step. Now, you mentioned the CD release party, but you're having a really great event on October 29th. Um, Tell us about it. Oh, man. It's a new platform called Flea Lee TV. And... It is a uh, platform where the artists actually do make the lion's share. This guy, Dion, is so great. He's, he was in marketing for, uh, with CBS and uh, uh, other labels, but he came up with a platform where uh, not only do the labels, not only do the, does the artist make the lion's share, and he puts you out there and... Um, he uh, he promotes you and markets you, but he also developed a uh, a multi level uh, marketing uh, uh, deal for your friends. So if your friends or or somebody that you know that ha- has a lot of people that follow them, i.e. Joe Kelly, we can send you a promo link, and you can get paid from the live stream, and it doesn't affect the artist. It comes out of the, uh, the Flea Lee TV budget, and and so he's. So he's doing everything to make the event successful. Uh, now it was shot on 4K screens in Los Angeles, mm-hmm. multi-camera shot, stereo, uh, killer, killer, killer audio, uh, every multi-tracked, um, but it was shot live. So you get the, the you get the 
you know, the essence of who we are alive, but we got these killer, killer videos in the back, man. It's, wow. it's like, you know, something that you'll never, you know, see, uh, unless you're at a, a huge festival or stadium, right. but it'll be coming right into your living room with these, these screens. It's, I, I was at the uh, arena with, uh, and I saw a, uh, I saw the Rod Stewart and, and he had all these uh, 4K screens in the back, and it's—I mean, it was in a, an arena. We weren't in an arena, but it's—it's—it's it's, it's shot like that. It's—it's it's in a—it's a, in a sound stage, and it's—it's it's amazing. People will love it. And people can go to uh, Facebook Freak Juice Society, and also uh, we'll have the link right on our front page, JoeKellyRadio.com, and you can right. And it's yeah, de- definitely, I mean, very affordably priced, nine ninety nine, right? Nine bucks, man. Nine ninety nine. That's why. It's just, yeah, it's a ten dollar deal, but you know, I mean, yeah, it, I mean, for you know, you you, you spend that on parking, so right, right, exactly. You know, I mean, you know, a couple, maybe one drink at a high class place or something. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, it's eighteen in L.A. for a drink. <laughs> so yeah, you're getting no wonder out. why you moved out of there. <laughs> Had to go. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> so hey, listen. Um, where can people get the CD or download this, the the tracks? And, and I think you might be selling vinyl too, right? Yeah, um, we're going to have a vinyl release, which people are really excited about. Um, we're going to be giving away a Schecter guitar. That more details on that for uh, oh yeah yeah you can. Um, but you can check out the CD at freakjuice.bandcamp.com or freakjuice.hortonrecords.com. Either or, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be available on all platforms November 13th. Right now, the if you want to order a hard copy, you can do that today, November 13th. It'll be released worldwide digitally. Not many people have CDs, but CD players now. But, you know, occasionally people want to have something to hold on to. So we, we definitely did that. And we got vinyl coming out. And Schechter, uh, stay tuned for just go to my page, Tori Ruffin, Freak Juice, and and Schechter will be giving away a, a new guitar to some lucky individual, and uh, so yeah, I mean, it, people, it's I'm really excited about it. People are really excited about the record, and uh, like that. Please support because you know it's been, you. I don't have to tell you it's been a pandemic, and I don't have to tell you musicians have been affected drastically by that. Yeah. Oh yeah. I haven't toured with Morris over here, and that you know that's the lion's share of what I do. And so it's been tough on a lot of levels, but people, you know, have been supportive. We, we did a, we've uh, did a few things and people have come out. And so uh, we got a quality, quality show. And uh, you'd be surprised how just 10 bus can feed a band of five. For $10, a band of five. You feed a band of five. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Keep everybody. And, and, and I'm great. making a joke, but I'm I, on one level, but I'm serious on the next, you know, it's, it's, if you guys can support it, it really mean a lot to uh, the, the band and myself. For right. sure. So, yeah. so connect with the link on our front page where uh, Joe Kelly radio.com and Tori mentioned all the all different outlets he has there. And uh, that'll be on October 29th. Um, Let's talk about the intro to this song. And I know you've never been one to share, uh, to uh, be shy of saying what's on your mind and everything. And I got to let you know, Tori, I already voted in the presidential election. I voted uh, against, I voted against the hypocrite. So, oh, good, good choice. Good choice. Did, did that about a month ago or no, a few weeks ago. But so, so, I mean, you get right into there talking about the hypocrite, which is the last four years, right? Oh man, yeah. I mean, and 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 I I wrote it about three and a half years ago. I mean, it affected me so much. I mean, you gotta, you know, uh, as an artist, you you kind of just want to write songs and 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 go about your business and make people happy. Uh, but you you know, it's, there's times when you're compelled to to speak out, and and this is this administration has definitely. Uh, inspired me to do that. I'm, I've always been one to talk about social injustice. It's kind of who I am. But uh, uh, this administration has definitely, um, uh, you know, you, you can't stay quiet. You have to be on the right side of history, guys. Vote November 3rd. I mean, I can understand maybe the first 
four years. I can almost, I can understand, you know, being confused the first time. Uh, and, and But after the last four years, I don't know how anybody can be confused about what, what, what the right thing to do is, you know, um, mm-hmm. he has, div- he has stoked division, hate, He's a narcissist. He's a sociopath. And you have to be on the right side of history, guys. And and, and we have to get, come back together. I, um, I, we, you know, this country is better than that. And I believe that. And so, yeah, so I, I was compelled to write songs uh, about it. Um, Rise, uh, Hypocrite, and then, the, you know, all the police brutality that's been going on. So all those things are addressed on the record. But, yeah, the hypocrite definitely tells it shows and shows you and uh speaks to my feeling about the current uh administration so let, before we get into the track let me ask you this trump came out to tulsa one of his rallies before he got covid and everything right, right, right. and um you know of course the supporters all, all there but as a city as a whole what what's the vibe like there well, in tulsa Oklahoma? i've never been out there but is it as strong for Trump like that, or is it? Well, believe it or not, man, um, Tulsa is liberal city. It's Oklahoma. OKC is probably now. You have your obviously you have your trust Trump supporters, but uh, it, it's funny. Uh, it Tulsa's so liberal that uh, well, there is a lot of, that all the kids, man, they bought up all the tickets to the Trump rally that. And 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 did not show up. So Trump was expecting this huge crowd. I, I know you heard of. I don't know if you heard. That about was the indoor. That was the indoor one. That right? was the indoor first where nobody showed up. He was expecting right. people. They had jumbled screws. <laughs> but what what why that was is because every all the all the pro, pro uh, the, the you know the pro the anti Trump folks you know people that are, are you know that want to be on the right side of history and love each other, you know, they, they brought up all the tickets and, and, uh, you know, uh, and, and, and hook week, you know, and, and didn't show up. And so he had an empty arena. It was awesome. So yeah, Tulsa has, is a, is a very diverse. Well, it's not as diverse, it is diverse, but the people here, the majority of the people here are uh, really, really good people, you know, yeah, you could just see you could see from yeah, the they're not good people on both sides. You're either on the right side or on the wrong side. <laughs> I mean, there's some people that need to be educated, man. And I think that, you know, that but I don't know how you could be thinking anything but uh, you know, I'm a, you know, I don't I hate to say it, but you know, it, it's it's really racial at this point if you're if you're voting for Trump. I can't I can't think of any other reason why. Other than if you're in the one percent and you're getting those tax breaks, but other than right, that, right. Yeah. you know, you, you you're voting against in your, your head. own self-interest. It, you know, yeah. you got you it. Know. Well said. So let's get into it right now, and hopefully, uh, November third or shortly thereafter, we'll have a good result, and the hypocrite will be sent packing somewhere. So, yes, this is a, yeah, freak juice and friends. Oh, call us. Get them out of there. Yeah, get out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is Hypocrite right here. Tori Ruffin and Freak Juice. We'll be back and talk with Tori in just a few. And that was Hypocrite, uh, dedicated to uh, President Donald Trump, soon to be ex Donald Trump president, and uh, Freak Hopefully Juice and Friends. That, that's right. So that night at the Freak Juice Lounge, any special plans? Uh, on October 29th, yes. Uh, we're going to have. Uh, and on the big screens and all the TVs. So if you have, if you're in town and you and you bought your ticket, you can come in and get a free drink on on me, and we'll come back and and, and watch. Uh, we'll do a listening party. It starts at six, and then we'll we'll run it we'll program at seven. Now it's it's six central time, but you can watch it up to forty eight hours after you purchase it. So like if you don't get off work or you know you got uh, other plans that day. You can watch it up to forty eight hours. So there's, oh, okay. can, yeah. So that's I, I really have to promote that because I think people are like, oh man, you know, some people may be like, ah, oh, I'm gonna be busy that day, or, or but yeah, if you you can, once you pay for it, you can you can watch it up to forty eight hours. So that's, that's a good that's thing. Nice. Yeah. So we're gonna open up the club man party, listen to it, and, uh, look at it, be celebratory. And how about yeah. November third election night? Any any plans at the club? Um. 
just a celebration uh Joe Biden Kamala Harris uh party uh what is that a, isn't that a, a I think that's a Tuesday right yeah Tuesday November 3rd yeah yeah so we got our regular Tuesday uh going on Vegas low and uh, DJ Presti so you know people will probably just come on down and right. park. you know we'll have an election right. watch you know right, uh, right you know but uh uh yeah, it, it's, uh, you know, it's people just have to get out and vote and not uh, get too complacent, you know, because this is what happened with Hillary last time. She had a she had a, a lead and everybody, you know, some folks might have stayed home. But this this election is so important. I mean, all elections are important, but this is really the fight for the soul of right. our country, man, and um, and democracy as we know it. And it might even get a concert or two back at the White House because Obama had all the the guests and Jesse Johnson even played played in there for one of the shows and Prince. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wasn't that great, man? Jeez. Yeah, yeah. So you you've always uh, paid tribute to the Minneapolis sound and, and Prince, and you you do a really nice uh, honor to Prince here with the song called "Learned It From You." Right. Yeah. As a good as a guitar player, what what did you admire most about? Prince and uh, any specific songs really, really are dear to you? Well, I came I came up in the '80s, man. Obviously, and uh, and if you're if you're a black musician, you know, you, uh, especially a guitar player, you know, uh, you had you had one guy. Uh, there was Hendrix, and then the next guy was Prince, mm-hmm. and and then there was the time with Jesse Johnson and all those guys. And so, what I t- you know later. When I found that Prince was playing, you know, the majority of the parts or all the parts for, you know, first four records or whatever to the ice cream castles or uh, I mean, I patterned my whole rhythm playing off of uh, of Prince, you know. Uh, I mean, that's that's how, what we did. That's what every how everybody did, how everybody played. I mean, we learned all the time stuff. We learned all the all the print stuff. Uh, and so when it came for the t- came to join the time, I, I didn't even have to listen to the stuff because it was so we had played it in clubs. We had so when I, Morris called me for an audition, I just came down and did what I had been doing for the last who you know 10, 15 years, you know, playing right. like Prince on rhythm. Um, uh, yeah, um obviously you know I'm a big Miles Davis fan and and, and jazz fan. So the the solo the solo things um not so much, but I, you know, you do take some stuff from. I mean, the Purple Rain solo is is, is iconic, and you know, so you can't help but take some of that stuff from him. But and just being around and and and, be, and having to play those parts the way he does, it's definitely gonna uh, enter in your playing. But yeah, the biggest thing would be the rhythm. Uh, mm-hmm. And if you listen to my earlier records before I even had the time gig, you can hear it. It's like. You're right, I'm playing, right. I'm playing Minneapolis over some rock stuff. It's, it's 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 funny. It's like there it is, right there. You know. So so the, so yeah. the time the time in you know the I'd say the last fifteen or twenty years, you know, a lot of ebb and flow with Prince. You guys were on the Musicology tour for um, a few dates on there. What was it like opening up for Prince? And did he get involved in you guys a lot, or just? Oh yeah, man! It was it was mind blowing. Um, it was the pinnacle, one of the pinnacles of the pinnacle of my career. I think, you know, opening up for Prince and being on the same stage and and interacting with him backstage and uh, interacting on the side of the stage, uh, um, just being around him for eighteen, nineteen shows, wherever it was was just mind blowing and just every night hearing the fans go nuts. I just remember the first time we hit the stage in Atlanta, I was like, I said to myself, how does anybody stay sane <laughs> hearing this every night? Right, right. <laughs> All this adulation. I was like, God dang, this is crazy. I said, this must have and this I, I thought to myself, this is what it must have been like in Purple Rain one the time. And, and sure enough, being in the Morris and those guys were like, yeah, this is rem- reminiscent of Purple Rain. It was, it, it was so, when we hit the stage, it was so, you know, so definitely, because nobody knew we were there. Nobody, and then they heard the clock go off. Oh, man, it was oh, yeah. awesome. So 
that whole experience, man, I, I can almost remember it like it was yesterday, just being in the arenas and touring around the country and um, just being around him was, you know, was was inspiring. And just to see how he worked and, and, and how he ran everything by him, you know, um, from sunup to sundown, he'd do a jab session and be back in an arena at 10 a.m. in the next city, you know, uh, making sure this was right and that was right. And be at our sound checks, be at our sound checks, sound check his band, play, do his show, run sound for us. Wow. You know, it was crazy. I was like, they do a jam session at three o'clock in the morning. I was like, when does this guy right. sleep? I was like, man, this guy is amazing. So, yeah, man. We saw, we saw the tour in New Jersey. You guys weren't open up that night. And I talked to one of the guys, I guess he was in charge of the stage area uh-huh. before the concert started. And he said, because they played in Connecticut the, the the next night, I said, so you guys are playing here, going up to Connecticut and coming back to New Jersey after that the next night. And he, he said, yeah, they're breaking down the stage and carrying the whole thing back and forth. Yeah, I don't know how you guys do it. <laughs> that's, you know, that's that's insane. But he, but he paid them well. You know, he, yeah, yeah. So it must have been worth it. Oh, yeah. Um, Close to Prince's death, you guys were uh, featured performers at Paisley Park. I know we talked about it before, but uh, that night, um, you know, he was really digging you guys and was a good spirits, right? I think it was like in January, February. Oh, he was in great spirits, man, and uh, he had his rig set up. I was like, wow, he's gonna come, he's gonna come up on stage again. He didn't make it out, but uh, by all accounts, man, um, he just uh, he was really, really enjoying us really had some complimentary things to say about this band and was really behind it. He, he was saying that he wanted to take us out and, and to Europe and manage, manage this band. And he was excited to have you. And once we get back, you guys are going to be playing arenas. You know, he was, he was all about how much he loved, you know, this band and, and, and you know, what he was seeing and what he had been seeing, you know, Right, so right. He, he was all about us, man. He, 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 he was, you know, he had big plans for us. Well, we're going to get into a song which Tori Ruffin uh, right here wrote with uh, his buddy Freeze, Ricky Freeze Smith. Mm-hmm. You guys go back a long, long way. This is called Learned It From You, dedicated to Prince, I'm sure. And right. uh, Freak verse, Juice. True, true story. Second verse, true story. Uh, all right from, so our, all, all of it's a true story on that i kind of wrote that from the heart guys so and it's yeah. got a lot of the the 80s feel when you first got into print so oh yeah that's, yeah. that's exactly why i did that um uh yeah. you know real quickly it just uh you never know when somebody's on this planet how much they mean to you you almost take them for granted mm-hmm. and and when you lose somebody that uh was a bit influence in your life and you didn't realize it uh you know it's 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 sobering it's mind opening it's, it makes you want to you know make sure that you reach out to somebody that you admire or that you, and let them know there's nothing wrong with it you know sometimes we just we take people for granted you know and thinking they're going to be here I, you know i'm sure a lot of people felt that way like man he's he's healthy he's this and that and and then they, you wake up one day and you and he's gone, you know. And then all the all the other trivial stuff you you might be thinking this or that, you know. It's 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 uh, it's it's exactly that. It's just trivial. And so so anyway, just cherish people while they're here, man. You know, don't make that mistake. You know, people can make you can make that mistake. And um, uh, yeah, so that that's what hit me with his death. It's like, I didn't realize how much a part uh, of his music that, that really was in me and how much I lo- loved his music. And, you know, Right. And you guys, you know, he loved what you guys were doing. So uh, yeah, we're going to get into it right now. Well said from Tori Ruffin, my special guest learned it from you. This is a uh, freak juice and friends. They call us juice is the new release. And uh, we'll check it out right now here on the Joe Kelly radio show. All right, that is from Tori Ruffin's Freak Juice. The brand new release is called They Call Us Juice. Freak Juice and Friends, a lot of great musicians all over this record, and it is Learned It From You, um, dedicated to Prince. And we're here with Tori Ruffin. Well, let's talk about the nightclub in Tulsa, Oklahoma. People listen right now. They want to come into town, check it out. What are the specifics, how to get there and uh, address and everything like that? 
Yeah, we're at 3508 South Sheridan. Uh, just check the website for what's going on. Uh, but what's happening during the week right now, we have a DJ Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday is uh, Wednesday is open mic, though, with hip hop open mic where you can R&B vocalists who want to come down and sing. Uh, we, we feature, uh, it's our fit, $50 prize for people that, uh, you know, want to come, uh, uh, come down and, 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 and sh- showcase their talent. So we got, we're making a spot for new artists Thursday is it's, it's open. Sometimes it's acoustic. Sometimes it's, it's rock. Sometimes it's open mic. So just check for Thursdays. Um, Friday we have the hottest DJ in town, um, DJ Big Rich, and uh, it's various themes on that night. Saturday is usually uh, reserved for bigger bands, but we have DJs on that night too. But like we have my buddy Charlie Red, who played in the time, he has the hottest R and B band in Tulsa called Flavor Kings. Flavor Kings, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. I was I was digging. In. I, I saw the the video you posted. That was really nice. Yeah, man, they pack yeah. it out, and so. Uh, we do, you know, we'll do bands like that. We, you know, and regional bands that are are, are bigger bands, and then, uh, yeah, and, and then Sunday, uh, oh, Saturday day, we have a blues jam going on from two to six, which is really nice. So, uh, yeah, it it, it 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 changes up a little bit, but uh, that's that's basically what's happening at the Juice Maker Lounge. It's cool, you know. We uh, I got some jelly, I got Jelly Beans guitar. Schecter is gonna. Uh, Put some guitars in the uh, building for us, and, uh, and you're on his one of his, his latest release, yeah. right? Yeah, huh? You're on Beans' uh, most recent release, right? I, I'm not on. I'm not on. He's on my release. I, I okay, play on okay. Um, uh, if you have any Prince memorabilia you want to donate to the Juice Maker Lounge, I'm trying. I'm getting all that together. I, I got a purple room where the pool table is, and I want to. Uh, oh uh, wow. Yeah, I want to uh, kind of make that a shrine to the time of Mir- uh, Minneapolis thing. We have a mural on the wall with Prince and uh, uh, Jelly Bean and uh, Morris Day, uh, and then my band Freak Juice, and then Miles Davis and Jimi Hendrix. Like, like uh, those are you know people I've worked with, and and, and obviously the influences. I didn't work. Right. With, I didn't work with Miles or Jimi Hendrix, obviously, but those are big. Right. Influences. So it's cool, you know. So I'm trying to make the club thematic like that uh, a live music venue you know yeah that, that's real nice you know yeah. you know you're out there still passionate about music and you know and paying tribute to the the mount rushmore of uh guitar heroes right oh yeah man you know it's uh, uh they call you know i'm a lifer you know some you know it's it's something that's in my soul something i have to do something i have to get out and you know uh so, you know some people uh, you know uh my friend Andre Berry, who's on the record that plays with David Sanborn and a bunch of other guys, was like, man, every year, as we get older, somebody jumps off the Ferris wheel. I was like, how long can you stay on the Ferris wheel and keep <laughs> keep this music uh, thing going, you know? It, right, it, it, right. It's challenging every year, you know, like, is, it, is this the year I jump off? <laughs> but, no, but we've been, you know, so, like... It's like I feel like I'm a lifer, man. I'm gonna do this until I can't do it anymore. As long as people keep supporting like they have been, it's been great, you know. They, uh, you know, support. yeah. Something you, um, you and you and the time did, um, Funk COVID. Um, we, we watched that. That was really cool. And and I may be a little biased, but the the time definitely wiped the stage off of most musicians. There, <laughs> you guys did. I, I mean, I, I love I love uh, those bands. Ready for the World sounded really good too, and I love Cameo and the girls. But you guys yeah. were we're well aware of me. That's for sure, man. I mean, you know, Morris likes it to the Lion King. He said, "Yeah, you know w- what it's gonna be, but each time you're gonna enjoy it because you know we're gonna put our foot into it." So I said, "Okay, yeah, you know, uh, you know." So uh, yeah, the time, man. Um, it's it's just been a a, a whirlwind. A ble- it's like a dream come true, you know, playing with your your childhood heroes and and uh, getting. And how many year, how many going. years is this? Yeah, how many years is this with the time for you? Twenty five years. We started in nineteen ninety five, wow. man. Um, wow. I actually played with Morris a little bit, maybe a year or so before that on uh, Jay Leno uh, and uh, a couple of times, and that's how. Oh, was that the New Year's Eve gig? 
Yeah, the New Year's Eve. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, I, I got that yeah. on videotape somewhere. Uh, cool. Yeah, give me what you got. Uh, yeah, yeah. That was, that was nice. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, that was real fun. Um, so, and then a year later, I was like, I was going up, we were playing a show with Freak Juice in San Francisco, and, uh, and I had some younger guys in the band. And I sat in Ron Gatra, who's the drummer mm-hmm. now, and uh, uh, who's the drummer for uh, Hans Zimmerman. He does all the movies and stuff for Hans. He does all the drum stuff. He's on the first Free Juice record, but he had never heard of the time back then. So, man, I, it was really, it was really weird. I was playing uh, Pandemonium for him on the way up there. I think I had Pandemonium there. And I was playing, we were listening to the record back and forth. Uh, and when we got home, Morris was on my answer machine. And that's a true story, man. I was like, wow. So he's like, hey, man, hey, brother, will you come down? And, you know, we're down here trying to, you know, put together time. You want to come down and play some guitar for me? Uh, you know, was he was, he left a message, something like that. And when I got back, I was like, wow, that is too weird, you know? Yeah, with well, the timing on that. Wow. Yeah, yeah, the timing on it, it was crazy. Hey, I got to ask you about the time, the live show. In the beginning of uh, the concert, maybe, you know, one of the first songs, there's that guitar, real hard guitar instrumental portion of the show. Mm-hmm. In what, the what, what, yeah, yeah. What 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 song is that? Or is it is it a title yeah. song? Yeah, me and Freeze, you know, I, over the years, I've, I've written all the heavy, like, if you see riffs coming out i've written I, I would write those during sound check you know and more oh, okay <laughs> and let's do that and then the me and freeze put actually put it on uh we actually put it on uh we actually recorded we actually recorded a few things we had a couple couple of intro things that we've done so i think they're they're gonna make the next record you know they'll yeah. probably make the next free juice record because yeah, yeah they're hard and i was like with Jelly Bean, it's so inspiring, man, to you can lay down a riff because it's so solid and so funky. Mm-hmm. It's like these riffs just come out come out, out of me, man. You know what I mean? It's like so easy to to write these things with Jelly Bean because and, and, and it's like almost every sound check I'm hearing something different. So yeah, so those that's where those riffs come from. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. You guys I, I love that part of I love that part of the show. I mean it's a small part of it, but it's it yeah. just sets the tone going right into the the, the time song. Yeah, that's a you know it's but there's there's a, there's been like three of them that we rolled for a long time. You know, there's one before that, and there was another one. I, I had to uh, maybe we can find it on the show. But yeah, man, I'm glad you yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's 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 a funky ass riff, yeah. heavy. Riff. Yeah, T- Tori Ruffin is with us here on the Joe Kelly radio show and uh, the latest release. This is the fourth release from Tori Ruffin, Freak Juice and Friends. They call us Juice. Um, people can go. Um, let, let's remind them where they can pick up the new release. How about it, Tori? Yeah, they can pick up the release at freakjuice.bandcamp.com, freakjuice.band, I mean, uh, hortonrecords.bandcamp.com. It's on Horton Records. It'll be on, available on all platforms, iTunes, uh, Amazon on the 13th. Uh, but if you would like a hard copy, uh, go to Bandcamp, freakjuice.bandcamp.com, hortonrickers.bandcamp.com. Look out for the uh, vinyl release and the live stream on October 29th. Okay. And then uh, October 29th is the live stream. Is a live um, stream. Fleet TV. We're going to give away uh, some giveaways on there, too. Uh, so, yeah. Just support, man. October 29th, Dion Fleely TV. It is the first. Uh, Bootsy, Coll- Bootsy Collins is going to be on there. Uh, Diggable Planets. Uh, wow. you, it's a multi-level uh, marketing um, uh, 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 platform, too, so to where you can, if you uh, give them your email and promote Bootsy Collins or Freak Juice, they'll give you two bucks a live stream. So it's a win-win. It's designed to get more people checking out the artist's uh, uh, for a new artist, like, well, I'm, I'm not new, but a right. lot of people haven't heard of Free Juice. They, they might know me from the time or, you know, the, you know, Sexual Chocolate or whatever, but they don't know Free Juice as the band. So right. relative, it's a new band. And, and uh, so it's a good way to market market uh, for up and coming bands, too. So it's awesome. He's uh, Fleely TV guys. Uh, Dion and his wife are doing Big things there, like I said, Bootsy Collins, 
uh, Confunction is going to be on there. It's, you know, it's, it's a minority owned business. So you got to support that guys. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 a it's a wonderful thing. So yeah, we'll, we'll have the link. It's, yeah. Just click on, on our website, um, for their direct link for it. And, you know, looking forward to that ourselves watching, spending the night, October 29th, Freak Juice live in, uh, just all high tech and everything like that. It's going to be Rocky funk, maybe a little jazz in there as well. And, uh, how about, I mean, I, I guess everything's on hold right now about touring with the time, but, uh, you got the pimp suit ready on the, ready to go, right? Oh, uh, we got the pimp suits ready, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now, I see some dates later on, March 21st, I see, but, you know, the country's up in air, you know, with these. Yeah, things. right. So we just got to, we just got to hunker down and be hopeful. Hopefully, you know, they'll get this vaccine out or whatever they're going to do. We can, uh, we can go on about our lives, hopefully, you know. Yeah, right. So uh, we're all, we're all hoping for that. Yeah, you don't really know how much, you know, you miss being around people, I, I don't know if anybody else has uh, experienced that, you know, uh, but uh, uh, just uh, being able to perform in front of a live audience is, uh, you know, you take I've taken that for granted, you know, thinking people are always going to be there, and it's uh, that's not the case, you know. So I'm, I'm very thankful and hopeful. All the support uh, the Time fans have given uh Morris and, and the band over the years, all the nice things they, they, they've been saying uh, and coming out and supporting the shows. Uh, you know, I'll never take it for granted again if I did. So thank you guys. Appreciate it. All right. We're going to go out with two songs from They Call Us Juice, um, a song which has uh, that great vibe, Cookies and Cream from uh, Tori Ruffin and Freak Juice. And then let's see, Pimp Boss 2020. You, you got go. a little Dane, Dane, Ohio there, the Troutman style. There you go. There as well. So these, these, it's just a standout record all the way through. You can listen through it. You know, Tori obviously has been influenced and created all different styles of music and blends them in the juice maker, right? Blend, yep, blend it in the juice. Yep, blend it all up in the ju- in the blender. We put it in the blender and make juice, guys. Music That's it. <laughs> freak is what we do to it. Freak juice. We freak the music. Juice is the ma- and so you guys are, you we're we're juice we're all juice makers we make juice. Oh, one last thing I gotta say I gotta thank you for the t-shirt and I I tell you what I don't know what material you use for that t-shirt but it's the most comfortable t-shirt I've ever had. Oh, great man! Yeah, whatever got- whatever materials they made with it, it's great. Please, yeah, they can go to the website and we can uh, go to Bag Cap and we'll get we're gonna have a complete line of merch in the and I'm glad you like that. Yeah, we 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 decided to go with a higher quality T-shirt, you know, as opposed to the the, the cheaper ones. Uh, you know, just just because I know people will, will wear it more if if it feels yeah. good. So, and, and I was at getting yeah, getting yeah. my car worked on, and this I had the mask on, and this guy's got his mask on. Who worked there, and he's walking by, he pointing to me. He's like, "I like your shirt a lot. I like your shirt a lot." Nice. It was the freak shoe shirt, so. You know, people are saying right on. Yeah, hit me up about a T-shirt, guys. Get a, get the album, get the live stream. Support your independent music uh, uh, on all levels. Uh, we we appreciate it. With this pandemic going on again, you know, everybody's been hitting hard. So not asking for a handout, just a hand up, you know. We got some live, some quality merchandise and quality performance coming your way, you guys. So. Right. So, so mark it down. Go to our website, joekellyradio.com, October 29th, the live stream, Freak Juice, and pick up the record. They call us Juice, Freak Juice, and Friends. Hey, Tori, thanks so much, and um, so I hope man, to man. see you soon. Oh, Definitely yeah. got to see you soon. Much love, bro. And I, I, want, I want to say just, you know, thank you for all the love you, you've shown us over the years. Um, you know, you always come and support and you always uh, give us love on your radio program. That means a lot. And we don't take that for granted. So everybody support Joe Kelly. He's keeping this real punk music alive, bringing it to you live. So, yeah. All right. Much, much love, love to you, Tori. Love you, man. Keep All right. Good work. Love you, too. So this is uh, two from Freak Juice right here on Joe Kelly Radio. <laughs> 